I'm going to show you a different way you can make a wooden bowl. No glue is required and it's all done making only one cut. The bowl can be stored flat then expanded when ready to use. The only skills necessary would be the basic skills that would enable you to operate a bandsaw that you might find in any home workshop. There are some materials you'll need before you start. You'll need a solid board at least three quarters of an inch thick and about five and a half to six inches square. When choosing your wood, it's better to use a tight grain wood such as mahogany. This will make your bowl less likely to split when expanding and collapsing it. Practice with scrap wood until you're sure you have the results you want. Save your good board for the final bowl. Next, you'll need one small nail about a half an inch long. This will be used in one of the final steps. You'll need a spiral pattern that is included in the pamphlet. Make extra copies of the pattern. It can only be used once. When you're done making the cut, there will be little left of it. You'll need some tape to hold the pattern on the board. Any kind of tape will work. I use double-sided carpet tape. Some optional things you might need are some string, a pencil, and a larger nail. You'll need these if you want to draw a spiral pattern for a large bowl. Before you start, make sure you've read the operating and safety instructions that were supplied with your saw. Let's get started. Take the pattern and center it on the board. Don't forget to make copies. You'll need them if you want to do this again. Now fold and crease the excess over the sides. Once you've done this, either tear or cut off the excess along the crease. The pattern should fit on the board and the excess will be out of your way. Next, apply the tape to the top of the board. Take the pattern and press it into position on the tape. You're now ready for the next step. Next, you have to adjust the angle on the table of your saw. First, loosen the clamp bolt and tilt the table to between 3 and 10 degrees. Different angles give your bowl a slightly different profile. I set it to 5 degrees. Now you're ready to start the cut. Start on the outside edge at the beginning of the pattern. Watch your fingers. It's really important that you keep the board on the same side of the blade throughout the cut or the angle will change directions and your bowl won't work. Right side or left side, it doesn't really matter. Whatever feels comfortable. Let the blade do the work. Don't force it. It's a long cut. The cut on this small bowl is just over 80 inches long. If you get tired, let off on the pressure and let the blade run for a little while. Then turn your saw off, but don't move the board. When you come back, hold the board in place, turn your saw back on and continue. Follow the pattern all the way to the end, then stop. Now that you've reached the end of the pattern, very carefully start backing the board out following the cut you just made. Be careful not to pinch the cut channel and bind up on the blade. Once you've cleared the cut, turn off your saw. Now start removing what's left of the pattern.
As you can see, the pattern is totally destroyed. That's why you should make extra copies. Set the board up on its edge with a free end where you started the cut facing up. Now take the half inch nail and fasten the free end to the adjacent ring. The nail shouldn't go any farther than the first ring. While holding on to the outer edges, press down on the center of the board. It should wedge into place. If it doesn't, flip the board over and try again. The top and bottom of the bowl are determined by which side of the blade you kept the board on while you were making the cut. If you choose, you can round off the corners and sand things smooth with some 120 grit sandpaper. If you want to put a protective finish on the bowl, use a oil finish like linseed oil. If you use varnish or paint, you'll lose the slide action you need to expand and collapse the bowl. Now I'll show you an easy way to draw a spiral pattern for a large bowl. You'll need some string, a pencil, and a nail. You'll need to find the center of the board. You can do this by measuring across the corners. Put a short line at the midpoint. Do this in both directions. Where the lines intersect will be the center of the board. I'm using a piece of scrap wood just to demonstrate. Drive the nail into the center point. Do not go all the way through, it's only temporary. Now take the string and tie a loop into one end, big enough for the pencil to slide through freely. Take the other end and tie it around the nail. Start winding the string around the nail. Wind it until the loop is at the diameter you want the base of the bowl to be. Insert the pencil through the end loop. Hold the pencil upright with the string stretched tight. While keeping the string tight, slowly unwind the string. The pencil will draw a nice even spiral pattern on the board. Remove the nail. Make your bowl just like the smaller version. You'll probably need a longer nail to fasten the free end to the adjacent ring. Now that you're an expert, experiment by trying different shapes. The possibilities are endless. Here's just a few examples.